For those of you who've been here for a while, you know that my first printer was a printer bought Simple Metal. This is this is it. It's been through a lot since I got it. Uh, I changed the bed so instead of being six by six, it does eight by eight by ten on the Z. And everything I've learned about 3D printers that wasn't learned before I purchased it was learned on this thing here. I've had it apart and put back together more times than I can remember. I've changed the hot end from the original ceramic to a V6. And uh, this is what got me started. I spent a lot of time looking up which printer to buy first. And I set, settled on the printer bought Simple Metal because it's an awesome design. It uh, was easy to get started with. And uh, I just, it's, it's so solid. I mean, I, I haven't written anything for this video. Uh, I just wanted to record it as it is. Um, so PrinterBot announced today through their website that they're closing. Um, we're not going to try and get too far into the reasons for that. They do have reasons listed list on their website, which was basically, you know, decrease in sales. Um, I first met Brooke, the owner of PrinterBot, at the Midwest RepRap Festival. That was back in March, and uh, he was a hard guy to talk to, not because he was intimidating, but because he never rushed anybody off of conversations. Um, we sat and probably talked for 20, 25 minutes. I told him my story, I told him how I got started with this printer, and told him what I was hoping to do in the future, and he was very encouraging. And uh, he was like that with everybody. He didn't, he spent the time with people. And uh, when I met him again at the East Coast Rep Rap Festival just a couple of weeks ago, you would never have known that things were potentially leading this way. Although, and unfortunately I did miss his speech. I know that he did start talking about um, the future and it sounded a little bleak. But when I talked to him there, he, uh, was the same situation. He t took the time to talk, and uh, I explained to him that uh, after starting with this, I had actually gone on to the point of designing my own 3D printer, and uh, he came over and signed the side of my printed printer, and uh, that was just awesome. And I told him about some of the projects I was working on, and I told him about a plastic version of this printer that I was designing that I wanted to call the uh, the uh, printed bot simple plastic and uh, he was fully encouraging I wanted to get his blessing before I used the name for a design and uh, he was he was really good about it so today we lost one of the companies that was there almost right from the beginning their original designs I, I mean I want one they, they look so cool they're made out of laser cut uh, plywood and um, they we're willing to try pretty much anything and when we saw them at uh, Earth, they were there in force. They had the printer belt, which is a printer that has an infinite z-axis by using a conveyor belt to move parts along. They had a large-scale printer bot um, and then they had their usual showing as well and uh, I I would be lying to say if, uh, be lying if I didn't say that I'm I'm pretty bummed out about the situation. So let me know in the comments below if your first printer was a printer bot or what kind of relations you've had. I'm sure many of you have had positive relations with Brooke uh, because the two times I met him he was just a fantastic stand-up guy. I don't think Brooke will see this. I hope he does. If he does I really want to thank you for the years you've put into this community and the time you put into your designs and the teams you put together and uh, for giving me my start with this guy here. So it goes without saying that this was originally just my first printer, but now as the last and an unfortunately dying breed, this printer will be with me forever. Um, it needs some work. I uh, have been neglecting it a little bit as of late, but in the very near future, I'm going to get it fully back up and running, clean up all the wiring and get it looking the way it should. Alrighty guys, well, hit up the comments, let's start a conversation. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.